So we will start in child's pose. So if you could start to settle your hips down to your heels and rest your forehead on the mat and find a position that feels pretty comfortable for your body right now. So it could be legs pressed or apart with arms extended, arms back behind you. Meet yourself where you are. Come to this child's pose with um, a sense of surrender and a sense of acceptance. So if you come to a body today that feels limber and open or feels tight or a little tense, um, all of those things and everything in between can be of equal value and can inform your practice in equally as powerful ways as the next thing. So try not to fix anything, allow gravity to pull you down a little closer into the floor and try to notice new spaces that you can invite more surrender. So allow your jaw to relax. Let the skin of your face hang heavy and start to become more conscious of your breath. So hear your inhales and hear your exhale. Notice what it feels like to breathe deep and full. Feel the ribs expand, your back rise, your belly expand, and notice what it feels like to spill the breath out boldly, completely, let your body soften and heavy to the floor. So yoga as union, yoga as the connector, right? So the breath as the tool. So if at any point throughout class you meet a moment that feels like hard work or feels like a lot of effort or feels really great or feels like a challenge. Try to come to each moment with that same idea as yoga as union, right? To merge with every single moment completely. Um, it could be your hard work to dive and live really deeply in it or your moments of rest. Maybe you choose to come back to this child's world and it's always available. So take it whenever you wish but let nothing take that yoga away from you. So every moment's a new opportunity to come back. Let's take a breath together. Start to empty out your lungs. Use an SH sound. And take a really deep breath in through your nose. Let it fill you up all the way to the brim and hold it at the top. And then let it go with an HA sound. Ha. Ah. Wonderful. So this vibrational breath is a type of breath that we'll encourage often in all of our classes. It's just a really great way to reconnect to your breath. So let's try it again. Empty out your lunch. Awesome. Inhale, really deep breath through your nose. Fill it up all the way to the top. And then release it with an HA. 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 Great. Over your next couple of moments, start to walk your fingertips really far forward. So try to feel with the reaching of your fingertips to stretch across your side body. Maybe take a little sway of your forehead side to side so you can invite some movement into the body left and right. Nice, now spill your fingers and spread them super wide so your palms flatten and roll your body weight forward and come onto all fours. So come into a tabletop position Stack your shoulders right over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Spread your fingers wide so palms are flat. Take a breath, look up to the ceiling and allow your belly to drop toward the mat, toward the floor. As you exhale, tuck the chin, pull your belly in toward your spine and round your back like a cat. Awesome, inhale, lift the gaze high. Press slightly into the heel of your palms, pull them back toward your knees to draw your chest forward. And then exhale, scoop your belly in and round your spine, and then continue to move with your own breath. So move with every inhale and every exhale. Now for a moment, as you start to sink moving body and breath at the same time, feel free to let it be pretty explorative. So it might just be with that up and down, or maybe it's a roll of the head or a swing of the rib cage side to side. Maybe you flip your palms around so fingertips face your knees and you can feel a stretch across the front of your wrists, right? Just start to feel it out in a way that feels opening, energizing, attention bringing. And then we'll come back to the center over your next few moments and pause 
stack where you started. So right onto all fours. Great. As you take your inhale, reach the right arm forward and then kick back, extend through your left leg. Now turn your right palm to the left wall. That way your right shoulder can lift softer down your back and try to lift your arm a little higher, closer toward the top of your ear. Awesome. Keep extending long through your inner back thigh all the way through the sole of your foot. Take a breath and reach, extend, and then as you exhale, bring your elbow to your knee. Tuck your chin into your chest and round your back just like you did before, like that cat spine. Awesome. Inhale to reach and extend, reach long through fingertips and toes. Try to stretch your body apart. And then exhale again, it's elbow to knee. Tuck into chest, scoop belly into spine, round it out. Okay, inhale, reach long. Pull your body apart in two different directions. Looks great. Exhale again, elbow to knee. Press it away as you press the breath out, hollow out your body. Inhale, reach, extend. Lengthen and lift, and then bend at your back knee. Swing your arm back and grab for your foot behind you. Now, as you grab a hold of your foot, point to the toes. Find a strong grip with your hand and allow your shoulder to get pulled back out of that kit. Press the floor away with your left palm and take the gaze more upward so you're not heavying your skull. Awesome. Take an inhale to kick, 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 and let go. Reach long and stay for a breath. Take an inhale to extend and then release it. Up, hand down and knee down. Now we'll move into the opposite side. So reach the left arm forward and then kick back to your right leg. As you do this, try to level off your body. So think dropping your right hip down and rolling your inner right thigh more up to the seat. Awesome. Inhale, extend, lengthen, and lift, and then exhale, elbow to knee. Chin to chest, pull belly in, spine, round it out. Awesome. Inhale, reach long, lengthen, lift. Again, exhale, elbow to knee. Think pulling your navel into the front of your spine. Great. Inhale, reach, extend, lengthen, lift. Once more, elbow to knee, hollow out the body, hug it in really close like a tiny fist. Inhale, reach, extend. Lengthen, lift, bend at your back knee, and swing your arm back and start to grab your foot. So using equal balance of effort and ease, right? So powerful kick using front and back of thigh, two shoulder blades drawing together to create open chest, open space, keep the jaw soft and keep breathing, explore a little bit more height with the kick, kick higher, kick. Nice, Danny, kick, 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 and then let go, reach, extend, stay for a full breath, and release it down. Hand down, knee down, back into those cat-cow tilts. Move it around, up and down, side to side. If anything feels tense, try to shake it loose. So if that's a lip flutter, a sway of your head, a swing of the ribs. Next, and then over your next few moments, pause at center, spread your fingers, tuck your toes, and lift your hips up to the ceiling. And we'll meet in a downward facing dog. So when you get there, move it around for the first one, take some knee bends, pedal out the feet, Sway side to side, move front to back, forward into a plank, back into a down dog. Move in a way that feels like you can notice how things showed up today on your mat. And then we will clean it up. So pause your movement and bring attention to your hands. You could look at them or just feel them out, spread your fingers really wide. Your skull could fit between your two thumbs. Your palms are at shoulder width, right? Now drop your skull, heavy it. Come up onto your tippy toes, lift your heels really high. Now softly bend both your knees and then lift your hips up really high. Try to sit on the ceiling. Awesome, now keep your hips that high and start to re-straighten your legs, heavy the heels back down toward the floor. On your next breath, lift your right leg just halfway at first. Explore length as you kick away from your hands. And then as you inhale, lift it up high, roll it open and start to stack your hips on top of each other and move it around. So explore your, that really big space of your hip socket. Lift your leg really high and stretch your side body. Move in a way that feels natural, feels good. Awesome. Okay, inhale, kick back, kick long through your leg. And slowly float your foot down to the floor. And then move into your opposite side, so left leg. So keep spreading the fingers. Press the floor down and forward. Kick through your inner thigh, through the sole of your foot, and inhale to lift it up high, roll open. Stack your hips and move freely on your left side. Meet your body with zero expectation. So if it feels drastically different than right side, awesome. If it feels the same, awesome. If it feels stronger, weaker, awesome. Just meet it where it's at and keep moving. Great, inhale, kick back. 
and then slowly float your foot to the floor. Now take a soft bend behind both of your knees, look in between your hands, and start to walk to the front of your mat. We'll meet in a forward fold. Set up your feet to about hips width apart. And then you're in a forward fold. So allow your skull to relax, shake it out, yes, no. Allow your torso to drip over your thighs. Take a soft bend to your knees so that you can find more forward tilt through the pelvis, long lower back. Yeah, maybe grab for opposite elbow and release your fingers at the nape of your neck. Try to heavy your skull a little more. Great, on your following inhale, come into a half lift. So it's a long spine. Prioritize length over then like completely flat to the floor. So you're gonna scoop your belly in, reach forward through your collarbones and extend back to your tailbone. Draw your shoulders down the back away from your ears, long neck, take a deep breath in. And exhale, release it forward, fold, let it go. Really nice, just a little swifter with breath. So inhale into a half lift, long spine, heart forward. Exhale, release, forward, fold. Following inhale, rise up and stand tall in a mountain pose. So swing your arms up, so biceps frame the side of your face. Close your eyes once you reach the top. And try to truly settle into uh, this body, this moment, these feet, these legs, this belly, this chest, these arms, these sensations, these thoughts. Close your eyes. Maybe shift the weight forward into the toes and back into the heels, side to side, and pause when you're like evenly balanced in all corners of your feet. Now, strong, active legs. Pull up on your kneecaps. Anchor down through your tail. Scoop your belly in so you can grow taller from the waist up. And then rotate your pinkies in toward each other so that your shoulder blades can drop down the back. Exhale your breath with an S8. Inhale a really deep breath through your nose, fill it up to the brim, and release it with an HA. Ah. Awesome. Following inhale, flutter open to the eyes, look up, reach up, grow tall, and start to go back for your first back bend. Hips forward, chest high, and then exhale. Release it for your forward fold. Let it fall forward, really nice. Next inhale, rise up into your mountain pose and just flow right into your back bend. So connect that movement with breath. The moment your exhale comes, release it forward fold. And then think it just once more on your own at the current of your own breathing. So think pelvis forward, think chest high, think reaching back with the arms, really beautiful. Exhale, release forward fold. When you get to your forward fold, we'll meet there. Take a half lift, reset your spine, reach the heart forward and exhale let it drop now plant your palms down to the floor step your feet back and pause in an upper push-up plank uh keep up valentina we'll pause there so that for a flow so on your inhale you're gonna press the floor away on your exhale lower only halfway bend your elbows straight back great inhale to scoop up your chest for up dog roll the shoulders down lead with the heart and then tuck your toes, float your hips back up to the ceiling for a downward facing dog. So that movement with breath, to reconnect with breath every single time. So every time you do it, breathe intentionally, move intentionally. Okay, take a soft bend to the knees, look in between your palms, step or hop to the front of your mat. Once you get there, it's a half lift right away. So heart forward, tailbone back, exhale, release, forward fold. Make sure your feet are a comfortable distance apart on your following inhale, sit the hips low, float the arms up and sit into a chair pose. All right, so take a pretty deep bend to your knees to the point where you can feel counterbalance. So it's weight back into your heels so you can sit your sits bones down and back and then counteract that by scooping in your belly and lifting your chest a little higher. Great, pinkies in, shoulders soft down the back and stay. Empty out your lungs. Inhale, really deep breath through the nose. Nice, exhale, stand up. Inhale, reach up, look up, go back into your back bend and fall forward as you exhale, forward, fold. Great, next inhale, half lift, heart forward, tailbone back. And then exhale, release, hands down, step or hop back. And then travel through your flow. Now, when you make your way into a downward facing dog, you're gonna take that motion three times on your own. So continue to move just right when you lift your hips up, step or hop forward, take your half lift, sit into your chair pose, release it into your mountain, right into your back bend. The yoga as a tool to dive deeper into 
the aspect of union with your experience, right? So if the yoga ever starts to get in the way of really diving deep into the experience, start to modify it, go deeper, move bigger, start to modify it, move smaller, move softer, right? Every single moment as an opportunity to use the body and the breath as a tool to create something meaningful or to create something that feels good. So every breath is a new opportunity. Try to keep coming back to, to that idea. You create it every step of the way. When you're finished with the third time, not to rush at all, probably still going through it, and you do make your way back into downward facing dog, try not to meet downward facing dog as a moment to check out. It could easily become that. You meet it so many times, but try to continue to find every moment as a place to find that same practice. Keep spreading your fingers, keep pressing the floor away, keep lifting your hips. If rest is ever needed, try to find a really deep intentional rest and let it really be your practice. If you're still flowing, take your time. If you're back to down dog, or even if it's just simply available to you, start to empty out your lungs with an SH sound. Take an inhale through the nose, fill it up to the brim, and release that breath. Ah. So on your following inhale, float your right leg high. And as you exhale, step your foot really softly forward between your hands. Fire the back heel down to the floor, warrior one. So you're going to take a pretty deep bend to your front knee so that it starts to stack just directly over your heel. And then you want to start to square your hips. So as you keep the bend in your front knee, plug through the pinky edge of your back foot so you can pull up on your back thigh and encourage your left hip a little bit more forward. Now feel your tailbone anchor toward your front heel to lengthen your lower back. And then scoop your belly in and try to stand a little taller from the waist up. Think mountain and pose from the waist up. Great, sit low. Take an inhale to reach up, look up and go slightly back. And as you exhale, peel open into a warrior two. So make your stance wider because now the orientation of your hips is starting to change. So you wanna take a bigger stance so you can start to peel your hip open. You're gonna reach forward through your inner right thigh and inner right knee. Keep it stacked over your heel. Plug away through the pinky edge of your back foot to peel open your hip. Now think right hip up and left hip pumping down and forward. Take an inhale to pull your armpits away from each other, really reach wide and then exhale Exhale to cartwheel your palms down to the floor. Step your front foot back and pause in an upper push-up. Plank two legs together, left palm to center of mat, and flip your plank to the left side or to the side with left palm underneath left shoulder. Now, you can keep your legs stacked like Phil here. If you need the support, you can drop your bottom knee down and stack it directly underneath your hip, or keep your legs stacked, your choice. Now, from there, you can try to start to float your top leg off your bottom leg and swipe your top arm over your face. Looks great. Take one more inhale and then exhale, hand down to the floor. Travel through your flow, deep breath in, always a moment to reconnect, and then full exhale out, hips to the ceiling, downward facing dog. All right, when you lift your hips up, float your left leg high, and exhale, step your foot really softly forward between your hands, rotate your back foot down and float your arms up to warrior one on your left hand side. All right, so set it up and meet your body again as it, as it shows up, right? Not to meet it as if it's like predetermined or fixed, but just to simply meet it as it is. So we use the posture to invite deeper awareness. Um, we can always cultivate tools for self critique but for right now, use these tools to cultivate deeper awareness. What? Sit a little lower. Scoop your belly in to grow tall. Inhale, grow tall. Reach up, look up, go slightly back. And then start to peel open into a warrior two as you exhale. Give yourself that wider stance and pull the arms away from each other. And then start to fix your gaze on a spot. So you might close your eyes, take your eyes over your front palm. And that way, everything that shows up uh, can have potential power or potential value. So the moment when 
your legs start to really speak through sensation or your arms, or maybe an anticipation of like the moment of release. And then you dive into it with surrender. You dive into it like it's the best thing that you need right now. Keep watching, keep breathing. Sit a little lower. One more inhale. Pull your armpits away from heart center and then cartwheel your palms down to the floor. Beautiful work, y'all. Step your front foot back. Two legs zipped up together and then it's right palm underneath right shoulder or right chest. And as you start to flip your plank to the side, uh, think hips up, ribs up to the ceiling, and then go for the float of your leg or the arm if you wish, and just know that no bit is too big or too small. So even if it's half a centimeter, really nice. Give it one more inhale, and then hand down to the floor and travel through your flow. And as you make your way into a downward facing dog, take that as a one breath, one movement. So like you did with those sun salutes when you sat in that chair pose and moved into mountain to your back bend take it on your own so sink every moment with a breath close your eyes and let it be really simple let simplicity be your teacher so things can always be complicated especially maybe as you know going throughout your day you're flooded with news or what have you like Keep it really simple. Come back to the home of your body. Breathe and move. All right, start to empty lungs, SH. Inhale, deep, 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 deep breath. HA. Uh. All right, take a bend to your knees, glance forward, step or hop to the front of your mat, arrive in a half lift, heart forward, tailbone back, shoulder blades down, exhale, release, forward fold. Walk your feet together so you have one zipped up column of leg and on your falling inhale, sit the hips low, float your arms up and sit into a thunderbolt. Press your, your inner legs together. So try to squeeze your legs tight and then bend your knees deeper and send your hips down, but focus on sending them more back behind. Great, now scoop your belly in and lift your chest higher. Rotate elbows in toward each other, make that little triangle above your head really narrow and draw the arms more back by the ears. The two inches deeper, right? Peel your heart three inches higher. Take a deep breath in here and exhale, fall forward, release it. Really beautiful work, let it go. And then let it go. If it's a lip flutter, exactly Gloria, shake out of the head, shake out of the arms. And then once more, it's hips slow, arms up right back into your thunderbolt. So bend your knees, send your hips slow, float the arms up, just stay for an inhale to lift the chest high. And then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. So elbows in one straight line, palms pressed. Inhale, lift the chest up and then twist as you hook your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. All right, so when you find this twist, you want your knees to stay in one line because that's going to tell you what's happening in your hips. You want your hips in one line so the twist moves deeper into your spine. So pull your left knee back, your left hip back, and then scoop your belly in and press your top palm down into your bottom palm so you can roll your chest open and get thumbs at heart center. It looks awesome. Now start to maybe fly away your bind. And then you don't have to, you can stay right where you are. This looks really good, Travis. Pull your left hip back a little bit and then send your hips a little lower. That was beautiful. Give it one more breath and then slowly bring it back to center. Stay low in the seat. Take an inhale to lift your chest and then twist to the opposite direction. Hook your elbow to the outside of your other thigh. Pull your knees in one straight line, send the hips down and back. And then again, press top palm into bottom palm to leverage a deeper twist. Now, if you're going to fly away, tee your arms apart from each other 
and reach fingertip just straight away from fingertip. Give it one more deep breath. Exhale, slowly bring it back to center. Stay low. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, stand up and pause. Just pause. Relax the arms softly by your sides. Turn your palms so they're facing forward. Take an inhale, draw the shoulders up by the tips of your ears. Roll them back and drop them down the back. Big circles. Inhale, draw the shoulders up. Roll them back. Roll them down and back. Okay. On your following inhale, float your arms up. Palms pressed over the top of your head. Uh, you're going to find a steeple grip, Kali Mudra. So you're going to interlace your fingers and just release the index fingers. Take an inhale to reach high. And as you exhale, go up and over to the right as you start to bump your hips to the left. So try and keep everything in one plane. So think tailbone down, hips forward, and chest up as you bring the arms back by the ears. Great. Looks really great. Try to get your palms to press completely shut. And now pull with your arms for three, two, and then slowly bring it back up to center. Take an inhale, reach up, 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 and then exhale up and over to the opposite direction. Now, as much as you pull with your arms, start to bump your hips and then don't collapse. So as you pull, you want to lift your right side ribs up and then pull. Really nice. First three, two, and then slowly bring it back to center. Now slight back bend. Inhale, reach up, look up, and start to go back. Press your hips forward, lift your chest high, and pull with the arms for three, for two, and then forward fold as you exhale. Let it go. Really nice work. Take a half lift, long spine. And release, hands down, step or hop back, and travel through a flow. Full deep breath and up, dog. Full exhale, downward facing dog. All right, when you get to downward facing dog, float your right leg high. Exhale your foot forward in between your palms. Spiral the back heel down and pause. It's a power lunge. So you float your torso to like 45 degrees and float your arms back in line with it. Great. Now, arms a little higher if you can and pinkies a little closer. And interlace all 10 of your fingers. Pull your knuckles back. Press your chest forward. Take an inhale and pull. Exhale, release your hands and swing them down, forward, and up to frame your face. So keep a long line from your back heel, your thigh, all with the tips of your fingers. Beautiful. Rise up, warrior one, and peel open into warrior two. All right, now take your eyes toward your front palm, flip it, reach it forward, and find a reverse warrior. So right now, stay low in that lunge. Keep your front knee bent and keep it stacked over your heel. If it's bowing in, think of pulling it toward your pinky toe. Great. Lift side body just like you did in that half moon. Now keep reaching and just straighten out your front leg. Dig both your heels equally into the mat. Contract both of your thighs. Reach a little bit further for one more breath. And then it's triangle pose. So you're going to bring your hand down to the floor, maybe your shin, maybe your thigh. And as you see Phil doing here, a shorter stance can most definitely help it be a little bit more accessible. Now, as you bring your hand to center of thigh, just make sure you don't press into your knee. You want to pull up on your knee, support your kneecap. Lean the chest back and roll open as you reach your arms apart. Give it one more breath. Pull the arms wide. And as you exhale, bring your left hand down to frame your front foot. Step your back foot forward a little bit for pyramid pose. So try to keep squaring off your hips. Pull your right hip back. Plug into your back heel, think left hip forward. And now you want to think a long spine. So reach your chest forward, inhales heart forward, and then exhale to drape your torso over the front of your thigh. Awesome. Now pick up your back heel, bend your front knee, and then it's a standing split. So start to lift your leg, contract your glutes to float the leg a little higher. You can frame your front foot and don't focus on how high the leg lifts, right? Just start to reach it really long and straight and over time it starts to lift higher. Really awesome. Give it one more inhale, contract your glute, lift it up, and then slowly bend your front knee, step your foot back, slow and steady. Nice. Release your back knee down to the floor for a low lie. Prop yourself up on top of your front thigh. 
Interlace your fingers right behind your knee. Try to sit lower in the hips. So drop your hips down and forward. A slight anchoring of tail toward front heel to lengthen lower back. And now start to press your arms straight. Shoulder blades down and back, chin off of chest. Look up and go slightly back. Give it one more breath here. And exhale, slowly roll up and place your hands down to the inside of your foot for a lizard pose. So two hands, you can toe heel your foot more toward the side of your mat to make space for yourself. Stay on your palms if that feels supported or start to work your way down to your elbows. Exactly, Leah, so both hands to the inside of your foot. That's great. Elbows, forearms, and then lengthen the heart just like you did in that pyramid pose and start to drape it down and forward. Leah, see if you can walk your front foot a little bit more forward. It looks like your knee is like in front of your big toe. Try to get it stacked over your heel. Awesome, exactly. Stay here and smooth out the breath. Exhale. Inhale. H-A. Uh, slowly start to work your hands down to the floor. Press yourself up, tuck under through back toes and reach your front leg back and travel through a flow. Full inhale and up dog. And complete exhale, hips to the ceiling, downwards facing dog. All right, let's even it out on left side. So on your inhale, float your left leg high. Exhale, step your foot forward, right in between your palms. Spiral the back heel down, scoop the belly in, float the arms back by your sides for power lunge. Now think shoulder blades down and together, like they could pinch a little pencil in between them on your back. Pinkies close, interlace your fingers, pull your knuckles back so you can feel a stretch and an opening across the front side. So collarbones spread wide as you pull back. They can inhale, pull, pull, pull and then release it. Swing your arms down, forward, and up. All the way in line with your ears. Really nice. Stay low. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. And then expand open into a warrior two. Set up your stance, take your eyes over your front palm, flip it, reach it forward, and find that reverse warrior. So stay low, back hand to back chin or thigh, or wrapped behind your back, but all with the function of growing taller. So scoop the belly in, lift your side ribs, keep reaching, and then press your front leg straight and strong. Dig your heels into the floor, continue to reach a little bit further back, and then triangle pose. Tilt down, bring your hand toward, your, toward the floor, toward your shin. Or, you know, again, give yourself that shorter stance to make it a little bit more accessible. Heels down, pull up on both your thighs, lean your chest back and roll open as you reach your arms apart. Take one inhale here, and then exhale your top hand down to frame your front foot. Step your back foot forward for pyramid pose. Give yourself a shorter stance. Try to press your front leg straight and try to square off your hips. So think left hip a little bit more back as you pull up on right thigh to bump it forward. Reach the heart out of the bowl of your hips really nice, Julie, and then exhale, slowly start to drape your torso over the front of your thigh. All right, now pick up your back heel, bend your front knee if you need to, and then start to float your top leg for your standing split. Two hands can frame your front foot, drop your skull, melt your torso over your thigh, contract your glute to float your leg, and point hard through the toes, lift your leg a little higher. Yeah, maybe grab to the back of your ankle if you have balance with you. Give it one more breath, leg a little higher, leg a little higher. So good, slowly bend your front knee, and start to step your front back. Come into that low lunge. Release your back knee down to the floor. Prop yourself up with fingers interlaced right on top of your thigh. Sit low into your lunge. Scoop in your belly to float your bottom rib out of your waist. Chest up, chin up, and start to press yourself away from the front of your thigh. Think of sliding muscle against bone and start to take your gaze across the ceiling. Give it one more breath here and then slowly start to roll yourself up. Two hands, 
pose to the inside of your front foot for your lizard pose. You wanna walk your foot toward the side of your mat to make space for yourself, exactly. Stay either on palms or work your way down to your elbows and your forearms. Take a slow exhale. Take a slow, steady inhale. And release it. Uh, start to walk your palms underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up and away. Tuck under through your back toes and start to send your leg back. Travel through a flow and we'll meet back in downward facing. Empty your lungs out with an SH. Inhale to fill it up to the brim, deep, 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 deep. and just open up the mouth, let it fall out. <sighs> All right, inhale to float your right leg high. Exhale your foot forward in between your hands. Keep your back heel stacked over your big toe. High lunge, so float your arms up, so biceps framing your ears. So now you have back heel lifted, so make sure it's stacked over your big toe, and then lift it up higher and roll it forward so it really stacks over your big toe. Send your hips just a little lower, and then take a breath in and scoop your belly in to float your ribs higher off your waist. Awesome, keep the shoulders soft, keep the jaw soft, keep your gaze steady. Give it a deep breath, reach up, press your palms over the top of your head, and then drag them down to heart center. Inhale, lift your chest high, exhale, twist. Hook your elbow to the outside of your thigh, so that's left elbow to the outside of your right. Awesome. Really great. Scoop the belly in, low belly up and in. And stay long through the crown of your head, the roof of your mouth. Hot palm pressing down, totally go for a flyaway. If you can, go for a bind. If you can get your top hand, try to grab your top wrist. Looks really great, Courtney. And contract your top tricep to press your arm a little straighter. Give it one more inhale to roll open. Slow and steady, bring it back to center. Slow with control. Inhale to reach the arms up, lift your chest up and go into a slight back bend. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Step your front foot back and travel through the floor. And you're back into downward dog on your next breath, float left leg high and step your foot really softly with control in between your hands, keep back heel stacked over big toe and float the arms up again for high lunge on left side. Embrace the movement, it's gonna be balanced, it's gonna shift, it's gonna change, it's gonna feel perfect, it's gonna feel messy from one breath to the next breath, so embrace it. To keep plugging away at your feet, sitting low and growing tall out of the waist. Take a breath, reach up. Press the palms over the top of your head and drag them right down to heart center. Two elbows in one line. Inhale, lift the chest and twist to the opposite. Hook your elbow to the outside of your thigh. Do blow belly in. Use your palms as leverage to roll the chest open, but really facilitate that roll from the, from the abdomen, from your core. Great. Fly away if you wish. Peel the arms away from each other. Go into a bind. And if you don't typically do it, try it out. And if you fall, come back. Just keep going for it. Really nice, Wendy. You got it. Give it one more inhale. Slowly come back to center. Stay low. Press your back leg straight and strong. Reach up. Lift your chest up and use your arms to go back. Awesome. Exhale. Hands down to the floor. Step your foot back and travel through a flow. Full deep breath. Full exhale, hips to the ceiling, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, float your right leg high. And on your exhale, sweep it through for a half pigeon on your right side. So think 
knee toward the right side of your mat and foot more toward the left side of your mat. You can stay propped up on your palms for a second to feel out the orientation of your hips and to feel a long spine at first. So chest lifted. Sink down into the hips and then allow yourself to melt down and forward. So lead the way with the heart so it's just straight in front of you. Awesome. Now you don't have to go all the way down till forehead is on the floor. Think of all of these poses um, as invitations into deeper movement, right? So it's a direction. And you might meet tenseness or big feeling or big sensation. Maybe you're more open today and you don't quite feel that, but maybe as stillness comes, mind wants to move. There's a lot of different things to practice here, right? So the big sensation, uh, a big flutter of mind, those are not indications of anything that's off or wrong what if like every single thing that you feel is working in your benefit so those are your that, those are your practice those are the things to practice right now surrender into that big feeling surrender into the movement of your mind come back to breath as the foundation Maybe when you hold them really tight, they might feel thick. When you invite softness and a looser grip, they might start to move. Start to empty your lungs. Take a deep breath in and release it. Uh, once more, deep breath in, let it fill up your belly, press against your hip and release it. Uh, Of your next couple of breaths, begin to walk your palms underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up from the mat, tuck under through your back toes to send your front leg back, face, and then start to move through the flow and ease out of it with the amount of time that you need. No rush. You felt like a sense of mindfulness as you move into that still space try to keep it with you as you move through that flow and lift your hips back up and move into your left side and downward facing dog and move into left side half -foot. so stillness maybe not as like a, an indication of like external factors but just a really deep internal stillness even as you start to find yourself moving into it be really aware of your palm spreading, length of your spine, the ability of your breath to make a lot of space, ability of your exhales to move deeper into that space. Every step of the Kevin, that looks really good. See if you can bring your knee a little bit more to your left, your foot a little bit more forward. Exactly.
Start to expel your breath out. Take a deep breath through your nose. Let it fill you up all the way to the brim. And release it. Uh, right. Give yourself one more cycle of breath. When you're complete with that exhale, start to make your way out of half the gin on left side. The palms press under shoulders, tuck under through back toes, send your front leg back. Travel into that last flow of the class, into the final downward facing dog of the class, and meet it with a little movement like you did the first. Pedal feet, take some knee bends, take some hops, shift your weight around front to back, side to side. Start to notice how your movement may have shifted things in your body, shifted your attention in your body, um, made things feel open or warmer, loose or tighter, whatever. Just kind of take stock and then we'll clean it up one last time. All right, so when you get back there, spread your fingers, flatten palms, press the floor away, feel the muscles of your arms light up. And feel your armpits rotate in toward each other so your upper back is open and broad. Scoop your low belly in, sit on the ceiling, heavy the heels, and press your chest to the back of the room. Right now, inhale, roll your heart forward into an upper push up plank. Right, pause there. Then bring your elbows down to the floor for a forearm plank. Bring your forearms parallel to each other and palms flat to the floor. As you do that, try to keep your hips more in line with your shoulders rather than sagging toward the floor. So it's a scooping in of your belly. Think pubic bone to navel and tailbone back toward your hip, toward your heels. It'll take three full cycles of breath. Take an inhale, deep breath, full exhale. Inhale, deep breath, full exhale. One more deep breath. Exhale, release your hips down for a sphinx pose. So you're gonna untuck your toes, bring the tops of your feet down to the floor, and then you're gonna draw your chest forward and up with every inhale. Press the elbows down, pull them back towards your hips, think shoulder blades down at back. Imagine your lungs like balloons. Every inhale you take, forward and up, high lift of chest, really nice. Give it one more inhale here. Exhale, slowly lower your left ear down to the floor and bring your arms back by your sides. Palms can face the ceiling and try to shake loose all your effort. So a hip sway, a lip flutter, a, wind, a windshield wiper of the feet or of the shins, whatever feels good to really. Awesome. All right, inhale, chin to the mat, look forward, reach your arms out straight in front of you. Palms facing each other for superhuman. Bring your legs together. Nice, think anchor of a pubic bone to navel, reach down through center and lift everything up and away from the floor. So it's like you're trying to touch the upper corner of the room, stick with it where the ceiling meets the wall, right? Scoop your belly in, keep going, chin off the chest, take the gaze more upward, reach really long with your arms and try to lift whatever your part of the body feels heaviest. Lift that up the most. Give it one more inhale to grow taller, reach longer, and slowly release it. Really nice opposite ear to the floor. Arms back by your sides, palms face up, and release that right away. All right, chin to the mat, take the gaze forward. One more on the belly, bend both of your knees. Kick your heels toward your butt and grab your feet from behind you as you set up for a floor bow. All right, so you wanna keep the shoulders soft here. Get a really strong grip, no kink in the wrists. Just straight line from grip through shoulders. Keep the shoulders soft, take an inhale and kick. Let the kick start to peel your chest off the mat. So find the power of your legs to start to lift you up. Nice. Now you want to roll the body weight more forward toward your navel point. Keep it there. Look up to the ceiling and curl up from the back of your heart as you use the front and the back of your thighs. Kick, kick, kick. Slowly release it. Really nice. Opposite ear to the floor. Arms back by your sides. Palms face up. Release the effort.
All right, set up for a camel pose. Place your palms underneath your shoulders. Press up away from the floor and come to standing on your knees and shins. Place your knees and your shins at about hips width apart and place your palms on the small of your back. So fingers point down toward each other. Bring your elbow tips together, almost like they could touch. And then lift your chin and your chest. So first, row tall to the center of your heart, like you're trying to stamp your chest on the ceiling. Keep lifting your heart as you press your hips forward so it's a really even curve through the spine and then start to look more back. Trace your eyes across the ceiling. If you can see the wall behind you, keeping the orientation of hips over, over your knees and your chest really lifted, you could grab through your heels. Try to stay. We'll stay for like 15 more seconds. You got it for five, four, three, two, and slowly roll up. All right, and now start to settle your hips down to your heels. Try to instantly be still. So you could place your hands at heart center or rest them on your thighs. Let the, the dynamic stillness be the perfect stillness. So maybe a desire to fidget, a flutter of sensation underneath your skin, or maybe just really deep calm, shifting from one thing to the next, full of possibility, just what? Start to slowly expel your breath. A deep breath in and release. Start to flutter open the eye. Bring your hands to the floor and reach your legs out long in front of you. So keeping your left leg long and extended, bend your right knee. And then step your foot over your left knee, so to the outside of your left. Place your right palm behind you at the base of your spine and reach your left arm high. And then hook your arm to the outside of your thigh. Okay. Now try to stay seated really firmly on both your sits bones. Scoop in your belly, lift your chest at night, and then start to gaze over your back shoulder. Roll open. Take an inhale to grow tall. Stay lifted as you exhale, move deeper. Twist, twist. Twist, really awesome. Slowly roll back to center and then start to switch out your legs. So extend the opposite leg, bend your left knee, step it up and over. Left palm behind you at the base of your spine and reach your right arm up and hook it to the outside of your thigh. Scoop your low belly in. Think of lifting higher through your sternum, so right through the center of your chest. Try to keep shoulders soft down the back. Take an inhale to feel your ribs literally lift and expand. Use that space as you exhale, go deeper. Twist, twist, twist. Right, slowly bring it back to center. Right, reach both your legs out long in front of you. Reach your arms up over your head. Interlace your fingers together and then flip your palms up like you're trying to press the ceiling with your palms. Right, kick your heels forward. Root down into your sits bones and try to touch the ceiling at the same time as you lift your chest. Heels forward, sits bones down, grow tall to that reach. Give it one more inhale and then dive forward for a seated forward fold. Hinge at your hips and try to grab maybe for feet and your knees so you can and allow your, your back to round. Now, if you want to get your feet, again, bend your knees, grab for the feet, and start to kick your heels forward as you keep the toes flexed back toward you. As the legs start to straighten, feel your hips start to scoot more back to the wall behind you. Inhale to reach the heart forward. Exhale, pull yourself a little deeper. Give it one more breath here. On your exhale, slowly start to roll up. So scoop the belly in, roll up your spine, slow and steady. 
And once your chin levels off, scoots to the middle of your mat. Take a bend to the knee, so soles of feet are on the floor. And then lift your legs up so your shins are parallel to the mat for a boat pose. Okay. Reach your arms out in front of you, press your palms together, clasp at the thumbs. Take an inhale to lift the chest high. With your exhale, twist to your right. Try to keep arms in line with shoulders and straight arms. Great, inhale, come back to center, chest up, and then exhale, twist to your left. Really nice, inhale, come back to center, exhale, right. Inhale, back to center, exhale, left. We'll do one more round, inhale, come back to center, exhale, right. Inhale, back to center, exhale, left. Nice, inhale, come back to center and separate the arms, knees to chest, chest into knees, and exhale to lower, lengthen out, and just hover. Great, inhale, knees to chest. Exhale, lower, lengthen, hover. One more, inhale, knees to chest. Exhale, lower, lengthen, hover, and pause, just pause. Scoop the belly in. Keep reaching long through the legs. Keep extending long through the crown of your head for three, for two, and release it. Let it go. Nice. Hug your knees into your chest and give yourself a tight squeeze. Grab for opposite elbow. Let your belly be soft here. Take a roll side to side. Roll out the back of your body. Deep breaths into your belly. Every exhale, squeeze a little tighter. All right, supine butterfly, bring the soles of your feet to touch. Grab for the pinky edges of your feet and roll your low back down a little flatter as you pull your feet up and in toward your heart. All right, happy baby, kick up to the ceiling and pull down on the edges of your feet at the same time, like you're trying to put knees to armpits. Little resistance, keep the kick, keep the pull, kick a leg long if you wish, maybe both legs out long. Give yourself a lip flutter to unclench the jaw. Take an inhale, deep, 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 deep belly breath, and an HA. Ah. All right, release your legs long to the floor and relax your arms soft. And find your final awesome. So let your heels be heavy, let your toes spill out to the left and to the right. Relax your arms soft and easy, let your fingers find their natural curl, your jaw to be soft, eyes heavy and soft. Thank each and every one of you so, 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 so much for your practice today. Um, there's no other way it could have been, so it's perfect. Thank you so much for sharing your perfect work. As you lay in your savasana, I'll share a quote, one last breath together. Um, and thank you so much for creating a community that can live online during these times. and being able to spread yoga as the gift that it is. If you're able to donate, I'll put the link for the donation in the chat so you can easily uh, access it. Also a really wonderful way to help is just simply to spread the word. So post it on like Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Um, thank you all so, 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 so much. Uh, this quote is called The Invitation. It doesn't interest me what you do for a living. I want to know what you ate for, and if you dare to dream of meeting your heart's longing. It doesn't interest me how old you are. I want to know if you will risk looking like a fool for love, for your dreams, for the adventure of being alive. It doesn't interest me what planets are squaring your moon. I want to know if you have touched the center of your own sorrow, 
if you have been opened up by life or become shriveled and closed from fear for their pain. I want to know if you can be with joy, mine or yours, if you can dance with wildness and let ecstasy fill you to the tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes without cautioning us to be too careful or realistic or even to remember the limitations of being human. I want to know if you can see beauty even if it's not pretty. And I want to know if you can live with failure, yours or mine, and still stand on the edge of a lake and shout for the silver of the moon, yes. Let's take one last breath together, empty out your lungs. Take the biggest breath yet, really in big inhale, fill it up to the brim. And release it, H-A, ha. You're welcome, of course, to linger as long as you wish in your savasana. Um, thank you all very, 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 very much for joining me today. All the familiar faces that I see out there today. Really, really lovely to have you all.